fire, you got the lem music, my choosing. Well, man, yeah, made a film this year called Like a Lion, and it's basically uh, the raw, true story of my life and what I've been through and the trials and tribulations that I've gone through to get to this point in my life as a skier. Where me and Iberg kind of came up with the idea, he kind of came to me and asked me if he could tell the story about my life, and when we agreed to do it, we pretty much said that if we're going to do this, we got to tell the real story, and you know, a lot of us deal with a lot of different stuff in life, and you know, a lot of stress can build up, and I think through this movie, for kids to see what I've gone through my whole life to, you know, I've been in some pretty dark places before, but to keep the focus and to keep a, a solid drive in life, that's all you need to do to succeed, and the more energy you put in is the more you're going to get back. Yeah, the new film, Like a Lion, is definitely built based on more of a documentary feel. You know, it's, uh, most ski films are just a lot of, you know, interviews of the places that you're going and seeing six ski footage to music. You know, a lot of the ski companies out there, a lot of the filmmakers pretty much find a formula and stick with it every year where the movie kind of say the same but the you know the skiing gets better where this movie you know it definitely has taken a big step out of the box you know it's it's more geared toward a Hollywood film and it's very well put together well the title like a lion came about with you know a lot of the music that we're dealing with we're starting a music company in Kingston Jamaica right now inspired music with Cali P when I got hurt you know when you're hurt for that long a time it kind of changes the way you kind of think about stuff in your in your daily program so I linked up with Black Phantom about, you know, a year and a half ago, and we started Pollyon on, uh, I want to get into music, and any way I can help Blacks and Cali, you know, take it to the next level, let's do this. We went to Kingston, Jamaica last February, and uh, all sat down and had a big meeting, came up with a budget, and, you know, just kind of had a meeting to figure out if we wanted to do this. When we left Jamaica, it kind of just hit me that, you know, I can't have skiing for my whole life, and I know I will be skiing my whole life, but the other thing I'm really passionate about in this world is music. You know, I've, I've been competing so long in my life, it's good to feel that, you know, all the contest emotions that you'll go through and have a lot of intense mo emotions running all day and, and when the pressure's on, I mean, I really thrive on that, but more and more, you know, you learn about pressure through contests and when you get up to a place like Alaska, you really find that pressure is a little bit more intense than just, I hope I land my trick or I hope I land my run. For doing that so long in my life, to get actually the chance to do so well in contests and then, you know, take my skills that I've learned in the park and all, you know, with the financial that I've, you know, made in the last 12 years of competing, I really wanted to start focusing and taking some of that money that I had won and taking myself up to Alaska and getting helicopters because skiing deep pow and jumping in helicopters is every skier's dream. I mean, I obviously miss contests a little bit, but the thrill I get from being in, you know, Alaska and on top of a really big mountain and, you know, the intensity of it and when you get to the bottom and you ripped it, that feeling is like I'm just coming through the X Games finish line or a do tour finish line, you know what I mean? It's it, that, that, that feeling cannot be bought nor sold. The years go on, I'm just finding out how much more free you can be out in the big mountains and it's just a blessing to be out there every day with my best friends.